Hello, free conference call. I wanted to run through some uh, optimization suggestions that uh, are available within the Funnel Envy predictive optimization platform. Uh, hope you find uh, these interesting and eye-opening for what you can do uh, with an AI-based approach versus uh, traditional A-B testing like you have been doing currently with, uh, with Optimizely. Uh, so the first thing is you're going to want to optimize for new visitors. So that's personalize the entire experience, messaging, value proposition, and really the next, next best action based on the individual visitor context. So right now you have just one uh, homepage hero that, that doesn't bring any context about who the customer is, what account they're, they're from, what product they might be interested, or any other um, valuable bit of information into serving uh, more of a personalized uh, experience. For, for these visitors. So some uh, suggestions uh, start off with um, um, uh, personalizing uh, the homepage based on uh, the customer intent. So you can see right here, it's, it's generalized, doesn't speak to any uh, individual customer. But what you could do is just find the customers that are enterprise uh, level accounts and then personalize that uh, CTA and that hero text uh, to really speak to them. And with it, uh, you're going to increase conversions uh, and then also with our predictive platform, ultimately drive more down funnel revenue. Uh, along those same lines, uh, you could uh, change the hero uh, for customers that are specifically interested in your education solutions. So whether that's uh, someone that's visited the education uh, page on your site previously, potentially uh, came in from a, um, a lead source across the internet that has to do with education or any number of um, uh, different ads or, or any sort of outbounding that you're doing, you can realize and um, conclude that they're interested in this education solution and then show them a more relevant uh, homepage experience. So Funnelini's value uh, really comes in down funnel. So in this case, these are customers that are already engaged with you. So they're, they're past the point of, of being visitors. They've, they've read a couple uh, white, paper, white papers. And really uh, here, the next best action is for starting the free trial or talking to sales. So while your current website is generalized and doesn't actually change depending on where a customer is in their buying funnel, uh, what we're offering and our solution does um, in a predictive manner based on who the customer and the account is, we're going to start showing those experiences uh, that's going to drive that next, next best action. Uh, so let's see a couple examples here of how, um, how we can help. So when uh, an account comes in, if they are uh, an SMB, you're going to only show them that team plan. There's no reason to show them the enterprise plan. Uh, and then Vice versa, if someone is from an enterprise account, you're going to only show them uh, that enterprise plan. So here a customer is, is interested in um, talking to sales, taking that next step. So instead of showing a generalized experience, you're going to customize it for them to try to drive those conversions uh, on site. Uh, another great example is uh, pushing uh, customers for free trials. Right now uh, you have uh, a banner that, that talks about uh, using your uh, savings calculator, which is a good top of funnel uh, um, engineering as marketing type uh, tool. But if you already know that they're interested and you're, you're trying to get them to drive to a free trial, replace that with actual uh, content and CTAs that have to do with the free trial. So you can replace it, you can see on the right, it says start free trial. It's very upfront, very clear what the action that the customer should take. Uh, going further down the funnel, uh, where funnel and we can add value is also when they have strong commercial intent. So they've already demonstrated interest in engaging in sales. Um, there's a focus on expanding the champions in account, alleviating concerns about value and cost, and really making it so they feel comfortable uh, with the purchase that they're about to make. So. On your pricing page, uh, a great example is highlighting the features based on customer needs. 
So if they visited the API access page, you know that they're interested in this, you maybe even know which um, API integrations they want, you're gonna focus on that, you're gonna push that to the top of the um, uh, enterprise uh, plan page so that the customers uh, can see that, that this is a feature that they need and ultimately that'll drive um, engagement and down funnel conversions. Uh, again, here's one where uh, we're showing testimonials that align to the customers uh, in their accounts. So instead of showing uh, generalized uh, testimonials, you'd be better off served, uh, serving testimonials that have to do with the individual accounts, what industry they're in, uh, and even which individual at uh, that testimonial account is is giving the quote. So we know that there's a developer on the site that's interested in the APIs. You're going to show a testimonial that that is from a fellow developer, ideally in, a, in the same industry. So it's very different than what you're doing now, which is just showing one uh, blanket experience. Uh, and then finally, um, if you are driving people to take these down funnel steps. Uh, you're going to want to emphasize it. So this call today for a cost comparison is very much uh, at the bottom of uh, your, your site. So I'd push that above the fold uh, just to make sure that, that customers are aware of, of the cost comparisons and then uh, they know that where your phone number is and what their next step is. So rather than bringing them to a piece of content or uh, say your, your cost calculator, uh, which is more of a top of funnel action, you're driving them to a down funnel uh, goal uh, and ultimately drive revenue, which again is very different than Optimizely, which is primarily focused on top of funnel actions, uh, form fills, uh, things that, that don't actually drive revenue, but rather uh, influence vanity metrics and, and things that don't actually um, influence marketing attributable revenue, which is, of course, what we're all after as marketers. Uh, thank you. If you guys have any questions, uh, please reach back out and look forward to talking to you guys. Thank you.